hello and welcome to another video in this video i'll be explaining how i search uh, the trademarks this is not the complete process but this is the easiest way to search a trademark for much by amazon as you know that trademarks is a nightmare and uh, sometimes you find a word or a phrase and you think that it is so common that it should not be a trademark and you use it but then if uh, later on after submitting your design you find that it is rejected so in order to prevent that um, uh, the easiest way i have found to uh, search a word or a phrase is uh, to use tmhunt.com this website actually uh, searches uspto database and uh, it gives you the results based on the clothing items only as you can see on this website it is actually mentioning that it's uh, mentioning that it searches uh, it searches for clothing and uh, clothing trademarks as i explained in my previous video that uh, the trademarks are uh, classified in different uh, classes so based on the classes it actually searches only for clothing items which is very helpful because we don't have to look for a uh, trademarks that are actually registered for uh, some other items that we are, uh, are not actually using on amazon march so for example if uh, uh, so now i'll explain how i use this website to uh, help my uh, designs and my process and how this is very useful and easiest way to search a trademark so there are three options you can see you can use multi search option split search option and wild card search option the uh, i'll explain uh, all the three is and uh, all three of them and i so and i'll explain what and how each of them is useful for you for so for example i'll use a multi search option for example if i want uh, a phrase uh, like uh, this girl loves christmas so let's search this so as you can see that this has given me no results so which means it is saying that this phrase this girl loves christmas is actually not registered but uh, the uh, is it safe to use this uh, phrase in on your shirts or not actually uh, this uh, multi search option um, uh, considers this whole phrase as one search item and it's consider as and it searches for this one phrase only it doesn't divide it into parts and we already know that amazon is very strict and about trademarks and it does not considers the phrases as a whole sometimes a partial phrase or a part of it or just a single word of a phrase is if it is trademark it may, it may result in a rejection so in order to be careful we can go to the second option that is the split search so again i'll search this word this girl loves christmas so now if i search in a split search option you can see that i have found four results one of them is dead and it's checked and it is actually not registered the other one is a design element which we don't actually do not have to care about because it's just a design registration mark it is not a text based registration mark the third one is this girl and it is re uh, uh, registered and the fourth one is also a text based it is girl loves christmas so we know that although the whole phrase is actually not trademark but a uh, parts of the phrase is trademark and and that is a uh, very helpful for, uh, for us to know that if we use this phrase there are chances that it might get rejected so this is uh, i found this website to be very helpful in finding partials or parts of the phrases that are already trademark so and now uh, before going to the wild card search i'll show you another example that why wild card search is actually very useful for example if i search the phrase what's your super power now this is a very common phrase you might have found uh, on the internet or on uh, other websites and uh, doing your research for niches and you found this uh, phrase you might want to use it with some another phrase for example uh, i teach what's your super power so if you search this phrase what's your super power in multi search so in this multi search it has uh, it has given me two results and both of them are text based and they are not registered and they are dead so does this mean we can use this phrase or not in order to be sure we go to this uh, split search 
and uh, we search the same phrase again what's your superpower now this has given us three results uh, with the addition of your as the second result and we find that all the three are dead and they are not registered so in order to be sure we then go to the wildcard search we begin our search with an uh, with a star and i end, end the phrase with another star so in this way it uses this phrase and then adds any other elements or text that uh, might be there uh, with this phrase and there are maybe it's a trademark um, by adding uh, with another uh, question mark or a dot or any other punctuation mark something like that so when i search when i search for this phrase it now has given me three results two of them are dead which we have already seen in the multi search option and the third one is actually what's your superpower with the question mark and it has shown us that this one is trademark now if we go to the website uspto now if we now if we go to the uspto website and see the detailed page of for this trademark we see we see that this is actually registered and the mark, if we go check the mark information we see that the mark consists of standard characters and without the claim to an any particular font style and font size or color it means that you cannot use this phrase at all whether it's with a question mark or without a question mark because amazon does not consider uh, full stops question marks or any other kind of functionations uh, and it just gives you a rejection if you use it this is because i have found one of my shirts being rejected because of this thing because i searched for what's your superpower without question mark and then i used it i thought it might be okay for me to use but then later on uh, after a few months i got a rejection and for that uh, shirt so this is uh, and, and on the detail page you can see that it is registered for uh, clothing namely t-shirts so it means we cannot use this phrase so this is how i find this gm hand website very useful and super easy for me to check my trademarks before i create a design and submit them on my amazon so uh, there is also other website called trademarket.com which helps you but i find myself uh, using this gm hand more often because it's so easy and and there are so much options for you to search uh your phrases or you know for single words or partial phrase for your trademarks i hope uh, this video was helpful for you and in the next video i'll uh, show you how i use my process to check my trademarks and uh, copyrights at the same time so till then goodbye hi thank you for watching another video and if you have made this far it means you have found something interesting in this video This channel is all about sharing tips about uh, earning a decent living online and if you are interested in this topic make sure you are uh, subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you in the next video thank you